What's up guys? My name is Andres Paragan and I work in Dr. Woody's lab. I work with experimental ultrasound and neuroimaging. Think about this, when you scratch your nose, play the piano, think about the color red, or think about what you had for breakfast, neurons are firing in your brain. Imagine imaging this circuitry, getting the neural pathway from beginning to end. With ECOG and EEG, the resolution just isn't there. With ultrasound current density imaging, it is. Things such as depression, anxiety, Parkinson's disease will be visible, and this will lead scientists to finding a cure. How can imaging the body be improved to help diagnose certain diseases where I focus specifically on the brain? This is why my lab is working with an imaging technique called ultrasound current source density imaging, which is based on the acoustoelectric effect. The effect is a non-invasive method for mapping electrical current in 4D, space plus time, with a combination of ultrasound and electrical recording. Currently, my experiment is based on the use of a fake brain, called a brain phantom, and ECOG, which are electrical current sensors. I'm using both of them in combination to see how the skull changes the intensity of the signal as the current travels through the skull. How does the acoustic electric signal differ when the skull is inserted in between the ultrasound probe and the brain phantom? Why does noise increase and how do we decrease it?